we're going to have Matthew do the first section here. But I guess we should do a, a quick introduction. Um, I'm Marie Norton. I am Fedora's Community Action and Impact Coordinator. Ben, you want to go next? Sure. I'm Ben Cotton. I'm the Fedora Program Manager and Chief Cat Herding Officer. And I am Matthew Miller. I am the Fedora Project Leader and Chief Cat Advocate, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, unlike our very, very polished Nest events, these release party events, we, you know, a little more on the fly. Marie puts a huge amount of work into this, so we should definitely um, give a huge round of applause to Marie. Um, but, you know, we also don't really plan these events, so it's just up here. I mean, this, 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 this not the event, this session. We're just up here talking, so um, that's, that's what's going to happen here. There's some slides about some important things, but most important, thank you for being here. Um, welcome to the release party. Thank you for being part of Fedora. We love you all, even the people in Europe who are making us get up so early to start this event at this time. Okay, here is a QR code. This QR code goes to the release party schedule on the wiki. Um, is there a link to this event uh, schedule somewhere in Hopin as well, Marie? Yep, it's on the reception page. So uh, there's a tab on the left hand side and you'll see all kinds of information there. I'm not sure every single link is there. So we added them to the schedule page at the bottom schedule page it's where it's at bring that up in another tab there and uh, see what's going on and i just put a link to the the announcements section of the schedule page into the hop in chat for anyone who doesn't want to pull out their phone and go boop <laughs> and you have to make the noise when you scan it by the way pin required what the bah, bah. see science I'm sorry, I'm not going to be making any boopy noises today. My phone's unhappy with me. Um, what's next? This is your section. Go ahead and talk about it. OK, yes. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice the slide had changed. The Fedora Museum. This is the um, uh, work adventure, basically 2D video game map social hour thing. It is super fun. Again, um, boop this link for later or find it in the um, in the wiki. Um, this is basically a place where we can like get together and kind of chat in an informal way. You can get little small group hallway track chats going. We've done this before and it is very fun. Just a quick note on this. You'll notice that there's a Jitsi room and then there's just chatting with people. So when you're just chatting with people, only four people will fit into that video chat. So if you want to chat with a bigger group, go to one of the Jitsi areas. And if the Jitsi area isn't working for you, the small breakouts might. It's all, you know, the mysteries of WebRTC and whether it's going to function properly today. Um, yeah, 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 sorry. Um, the slides are changing and they don't have a big visual change. And like I said, I haven't my coffee yet. Claim your badge. This is important. If you are not a Fedora badge collector, this is a good place to start. Uh, badges are our gamification system for the project and kind of a little way to see what you, you know, your own accomplishments and show them off and see what other people are doing and, you know, kind of get these fun, fun little virtual stickers. Um, badges.fedoraproject.org or go right to this particular QR code. Let's see if the boop is going to work for me now. Okay, come on. No, unhappy Android. Okay, we no need to get that. For you. Right, we need to get the Fedora phone stuff working really quickly so we can have functional systems that don't depend on somebody else's brokenness. Socials. All right, Am I this part. Yeah, let's hand it over to somebody who's had coffee. <laughs> I've been drinking coffee for like two hours now. Yeah. So okay. So we have two socials today. The first one is in about two hours, ten minutes. It's the beat the bomb. So this is an external social. There's information on everything at the link here. So it is in Zoom, but you will go through a portal session and hop in. So I have the confirmation code set up in there. 
And if you're confused, I'm going to hang out in there and make sure to direct people in the right direction for the, about the first five minutes of that hour. So that is our first social. It's a video game thing. We're broken out into teams and we're trying to, you know, win. Um, today's number two social is with Aoife and myself. It's the pub quiz. And this time we have done it a little differently. We made it Jeopardy style. Oh. So um, you have the answers and then you know how Jeopardy is. We'll see if it works yeah. out. Should be fun. Shit. Should be fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's number two for today. I'm and then to that. tomorrow we have Among Us and our host will be Anaral uh, Cesar. And here we have some information on how to get Among Us set up on Fedora. It's also available on Android and uh, your iPhones and a couple other options. Um, in Steam, I think it's a couple dollars. So there's a lot of different ways to, to join. Some of them are free, some are not. We hope you're able to join us. It was a blast last time when we did it at Nest. So um, feel free to ask questions too about that. And I'm going to pass it to Ben. Hi, I'm just going to make a few announcements here real quick. Um, the election nominations are open, so if you want to, you know, have an influence on the direction of the project over the next year, uh, the big QR code that I'm pointing to that you can't see what I'm pointing to is the community blog post about all the elections generally. Um, but we also have a special shout out to the Mindshare Committee, who does a lot of awesome work and really needs more uh, engagement from the community. So Marie wrote a com blog post there, and there's also a link to the video sh session they did at Nest. And uh, both those links are on the announcements page also. Um, and I if you want a, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Yeah, just just ch chiming in here. Uh, the Fedora Council election op seat open is also very important because um, this is the time it, it, uh, where we're re really working on our next strategy for the next three to five years. A lot of big picture stuff about where we're going to go and how we're going to get there. Um, I personally would like to double the number of people who are uh, actively participating in Fedora every day um, as contributors. That's that's my high level goal. And so we need to figure out a plan how to get there and make that work because look look how that made the cat herder worried when I said that. So join the council and help us figure out how we're gonna do this without making Ben go entirely, entirely out of his mind. No, it's, it's just a parsing error. Can preserve my sanity uh, too? So oh, oh yeah, no. I thought yours was already gone, Marie. I'm sorry. I, uh... <laughs> I I like you how you're implying that I ever had any. No, but it's just a clarifying question here. Do you want to double the daily uh, active contributors, or do you want to double the active contributors daily? Because those are two separate goals, right? Oh, right. yeah, yeah. yeah like, you know what? Uh, that, that's an excellent, like, excellent question. Because um, we will if... run out of humans very quickly. Uh, yeah, doubling the number of daily. Have you seen? I, I posted a graph on Twitter um, about the number of Apple systems. Apple is Fedora packages built for enterprise Linux, and by my calculations, that will exceed the number of computers in the universe by like June of next year. Um, so I feel like if we're going to keep up with that, we need to double the number of contributors every day. Yes, for no. In seriousness, I want double what we have right now. We have about two hundred to 300 people um, who work on Fedora every day on average um, out of maybe 2,000 to 3,000 people who work on Fedora overall during the year. And I'd like to see that in number go up to 500 people who are doing something in Fedora every day. That's basically what it, what my, my goal is there. It's a high level, just sort of, let's see what we can do kind of goal, but I think we can get there. So if you want less, uh, uh of an obligation way to provide an in, uh, input on the community. <laughs> I think I just segued from like five minutes ago. Um, nice. For the Fedora Core OS team is doing a community survey right now. There's a link there. They just kind of want to know how well are they doing at letting the, the broader community know what, what Fedora Core OS is up to. Similarly, we have a release retrospective survey that I definitely didn't slap together like in the last week. Um, so it's not necessarily a great release retrospective survey, but I'd really like to know what went well and what didn't in this release. And uh, for F36, I'll do, uh, I'll get started on it a little sooner. But I like 
to make this a, a regular thing that we do to get better at uh, you know producing and shipping this awesome distribution that we make. I, I don't think you're selling it short. I think it's a good set of questions for a baseline. Um, everybody, please help participate in this so we've got good information to start from as we as we make this a regular practice. Uh, and it's not too late to invite your friends. We're still here to all the rest of today, it feels like, and tomorrow. So um, share the link with your friends and invite them. Marie is very happy with the registration numbers, so let's keep making her happier. And That's a good you know, goal in general. Happy, yeah. What makes me happy is drinking from a lovely Fedora branded cup while wearing lovely Fedora branded clothing. So I'll turn it back to Marie for a little bit on swag. Cool. So we've been doing some work um, with swag. Um, one of the things we did, obviously, was um, the Nest Swag Pack. And if you haven't received yours yet, I promise they are still coming. That was a way bigger project than um, our vendor anticipated. So I thank everyone for the patient, their patience. Um, here we have the new logo in Hello Tux. So that is now available. They have I think four or five different designs, sweatshirts and collared shirts, I believe, um, with the new Fedora logo on it. So feel free to, to make your purchases there. They also um, have the classic logo still available, so. That's, that is true. All right. Next, we have the balance of items that went into our swag pack is now in the cool stuff store so you can use that link to go and make purchases of your own so that's pretty exciting and we should be adding more stuff um, to the cool stuff store shortly actually the first thing we're going to work on is a t-shirt the Cool Stuff Store is Red Hat's um, branded uh, swag store, and they said we could use it, which is nice because that means we don't have to handle setting something like that up. It's got some quirks, one of which is you have to create an account and log in to see what there is. Um, but trust us, the stuff is there, it's worth it, and there's not going to be anything evil done with your login information. <laughs> cool. And last but not least, a uh, big thank you to everyone involved in making the release party happen. Mindshare committee, um, all the people who are admins in the back, people are hosting social sessions. Um, I've been working with some speakers on things. I'll be presenting a couple things. Matthew's doing two talks. So just a big thank you to everyone who put in effort to make this party a success. And especially to Marie. <laughs> I am happy to do it. I'm happy to be here and hanging out with everyone. Do I have a moment for a home shopping network thing? Yeah, we have like yes, a, a, we, a, okay. a minute. All right. So I, I made this. Um, it is a sample metal print with a little thing of a Fedora wallpaper logo. I'm going to post a poll about this. Um, it, it's, it's really nice. This is a small sized one of it. Um, but they, uh, I'm thinking of getting some of these in like eight by uh, 12 or 10 by 15. I'm curious if people would pay upwards of $50 for a nice uh, Fedora wallpaper um, art to put on in their house. Um, Cause they're expensive to make, but um, really pretty and nice, I think. Uh, Marie, did you get your samples yet? I haven't. Okay. I hope well, maybe today. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I'll put. I'm gonna put a poll for that, and we'll we'll just see. Uh, because, like I said, expensive, but um, nice. Cool. They're really beautiful. I'm glad you ended up just printing them and seeing what it like. You know, yeah. Storing that. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm gonna get some for my wall here, no matter what other people do. But uh, there's a blank, like right there, that just really needs them. All right. Well, it is time to move on to the next next session. So I will see everyone around. Bye, everybody.